what, what the haters talking about. Yeah. What's up, family? Multiple people were arrested and fights broke out ahead of white nationalist Richard Spencer's speech at Michigan State University. Man, they were throwing bottles and rocks. They had police out there with riot gear on. Of course, they were there for the protesters, not Richard Spencer and his group of supporters, his small group of supporters. Yeah, man, it was on and popping out there. They were scared too. Hey, anybody ever noticed that Richard Spencer has never been photographed with a woman? What is he trying to hide? I noticed that every time a fight break out at one of his rallies, all you see is his ass. I'm trying to see if there's a connection there, you know, because he'd be running, boy, he'd be hot-tailing it, man. See, he's a perfect example of somebody who flames the, the fire on racism, right? And he ain't gonna bust one great, but he would stir up the pot and get the other people that ain't real free thinkers, the ones who are easily misled, misguided, he can get them to do his bidding. He just say, them, 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 us, 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 they're the reason why we don't have anything. And that's the reason why we don't have as much. And that's the reason why we don't have everything that we used to have, like all the stuff. And that's the reason why we can't just give them whatever we want to take what we want and give them whatever little crumbs we want to give them if we decide we want to give them something. And that's the reason, that's the reason, that's the reason, that's the reason why you can't have the life that your granddaddy had, that your great, great, great grandpappy had, because, you know, they're, they're working for what they want. And now you got to work for what you want. You can't be lazy like your grandpappy was and sit back and tell everybody else to do the work for you. You got to get out there. You want to be a, a sharecropper, you got to get out there and, and work that field yourself. You got to work the farm yourself. You want to be a builder, you got to get out there and, and, and get that hammer and nails and plywood and move it yourself or hire somebody to do it. Can't just make people do it anymore. See, that's what they don't like. They don't like the idea of competition. You know, to working for what you want, actually competing against the best. Then the best person get the job. Compete. Competition makes the world a better place. If not for competition, you have Donald Trump. Just mediocrity, right? When you ask competition, when there's real competition, you are able to pick from the cream of the crop or at least get the cream to rise to the top, right? So that's what they don't like really, y'all. They don't like the idea of competing. They don't like the idea of working and they're very, very jealous. I'm talking about if the shoe fit wear. Everybody ain't got a problem with somebody else prospering, but you got people out there like Richard Spencer and other white nationalists who see somebody else going forward and they feel like because that person is going forward, they're automatically going backwards. That's how they think. That's how, how messed up they are. They see somebody else smiling, laughing, enjoying life. And they're already miserable. So they figure like, they're the reason why I'm miserable because they're laughing. They're having a good time. They're enjoying life. And I'm miserable. I need to kill them. That's the way some of them think. Free speech should not cover hate speech. This is one of the biggest problems in America. You have too many people out there who actually gets paid to spew hate. They get paid to just lie. Just lie all day. People like Fox News, they just lie, they get in a certain lane and just lie all day. CNN lie too, ABC, all of them, they all lie. But Fox, they do it all day, every day. They don't even try to 
throw in some truth every now and then. At least the other ones, you know, they throw in some truth. Fox just lie. The commentators on it, they just lie all day long. And when there's a story that don't fit that narrative, they won't even cover it. Let's say, for instance, like if a white guy killed a policeman, never see that covered on Fox. They won't cover it. The minute a black guy get in an argument with a policeman, oh man, it's world news for them. It's everywhere. And their followers, the people that watch them, the viewers, they're so ignorant. They don't even see it. Oh, I guess they don't want to see it. They're in denial. Because these are the same people that think they're smart. They say that they're smart. But I just can't see a person being smart and allowing themselves to be influenced by habitual liars and wicked people like the ones who work at Fox News. I just can't see decent human beings watching that station religiously. I can see watching it every night and trying to see what's going on just to be abreast of what's out there. But religiously watching it, keeping your channel on that statement, just having it stationed there? Oh, no. I can't see decent people doing that. Uh, here is a quote from Donald Trump about uh, this incident today with Richard Spencer and his supporters facing uh, protesters at Michigan State University. Uh, it is terrible how Richard Spencer was treated today. He is a good fellow Klansman. We love him and we wish him a speedy recovery. Uh, Ta-ta. <laughs> yeah, I know he didn't say that, but he, you know, that's something he would say. You know, he probably didn't tweet it, but he wanted to tweet it. So white supremacy, people say, you know, well, white, you mean to tell me, uh, white supremacists can say whatever they want to say. Uh, they can't say what they want to say, and the, and the liberals are saying whatever they want to say. And, you know, why is the white Nationalists can't say what they want to say. Why they can't speak up is the problem. That's what they say. Well, let me ask you something. If ISIS, if members of ISIS wanted to have a rally and speak up, say well, what's on their mind, would that be okay? Would you allow that to happen? Or would you say, freedom of speech, oh, you're going too far? How does that work out? I just want to know the psychology behind your thought process. That's all. No big deal. I suspect that some of y'all can't stand to see my face right now. You're looking at me and you're going, I hate him. I wish there was something I could do about it. Well, guess what? Unlike some of these guys out here who are afraid of you, I'm not. And I don't pray for you. If I do, I pray that something bad happened to you. I don't love my enemies. If you love me, I love you, irregardless of your race. Irregardless of your social status. I don't care. You love me, I love you. But if you hate me, I hate your ass 10 million times more. And if you want to get it on, we can get it on. See, that's how I get down. Just like you, you know, you're the type of person, you're that type of person, right? Like, so that's, how, that's the deal, like, you know, some of the people that, that have that type of mentality, right? If they don't, they don't like you, they want to get out on you, right? But when they encounter people that has similar views, but opposite of them, they go like, ooh, ooh, ooh. I don't like him. I don't like him. You're looking in the mirror, fool. But you know what? To your point, sometimes it's good to hit people that you disagree with. I can relate. No more talk. What the ladies talking about? Yeah.